So let's start with data pivot. So a lot of times your data might look like this. This is something that you'll see very much with performance data or revenue or sales data. And while this is great for human beings, machines hate this. Um, I guess you could describe your data as being either wide or, or long or a combination of both. And what I mean by that, let me see if I've got zoom in on. If your data is wide, that means you've got a lot of fields. You've got a lot of columns. Um, and generally speaking, that's less preferable than if your data is long, which means you've got a lot of records. Um, Tableau is really, really good at a lot of records. And of course, when you put things behind it like Snowflake, that it, it not only exponentially makes Tableau more effective at, at churning through millions and millions of data records. Um, the problem with this, though, specifically is how Tableau treats these um, dates uh, across dimensions and measures. So I'm actually just going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to bring in uh, a Tableau book here. And I'm going to connect to a data source that I prepared uh, right on my desktop. This little sample data here. And I've got a, a, a sheet that's basically exactly like that, which is over here on test one. So you can see here we've got our salesperson, and then we've got these different dates. Now, the data is good, sure, but when I go and I look at my sheet here, I see how every single month is treated as a separate measure, which makes sense because there's sales data underneath that column. But from a Tableau um, usability standpoint, that's very ineffective. That's very difficult to deal with. So rather than having to go and fix this uh, in an ETL tool or say Tableau Prep, I can actually fix it right here from Tableau Desktop. So I'll go back to my data source. And what I want to do is I want to take all of this information up here, all of those header labels, and put them into a field. And then I want to take all the corresponding values that go to those dates by salesperson and put those in one column. I will end up with a much longer or taller data source. Right now, I only have nine records. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get substantially more than that, but I'm also going to reduce the number of columns I've got, as well as make this far more usable. So you, you data folks, this is all probably old hat for you. So I select all of those columns holding down the, con, the control key and shift key, and then I'll right click on the header of one of them. I'm going to use this pivot function. And when I do that, Tableau automatically combines those into two fields. One is the name or the headers uh, of those fields that I have pivoted, and then the values that were inside of them. You can see now I went from nine fields to 207. And now this is in a function and format that is far more useful for Tableau. I am going to rename these just so that it's more useful for me. So we'll just call this date. We'll right click again. And we'll rename that to, let's say, revenue. Awesome. Now let's go back to sheet four. And now I can see this is far more in a format that would be way more useful for my, uh, for my analysis. Why don't we throw this into, um, how about a little line graph? Um, one thing uh, I guess it's worth mentioning, because I brought my date in like that, and obviously my date doesn't have a, a day in it, it's not that hard to convert this over so I can get all the great features of having a full date. All I'd have to do is just create a calculated field and use this uh, date function called date parse. And then I could convert that over to a date if I wanted to and then have a lot more utility out of it. Um, we won't cover that. Obviously, that might take me a couple seconds to type out. We have a lot to cover already. So what I'll do instead is why don't we just look at our salespeople like that? Awesome. So that is data pivoting. Now, there are some limitations. I'll just hop back over to our presentation here. You can see all of the different things and kind of walking through how to do this. So if you just had this deck, uh, you would certainly have all the instruction you needed. Um, so really, this is designed for more simple types of data sources. So Excel, workbooks, text files, uh, Google Sheets, PDF, that kind of stuff. And if you wanted to actually do this with a more uh, a proper database, um, you can use custom SQL to do that. Now, generally speaking, it's best practice not to use custom SQL in your workbook. You'd want to do as much as you can in your source data. Um, but there is a link here to help you do that if you want to. Um, the first part of this link from here forward is basically just pivoting the data from your data connection page. And then there's a little section specific to custom SQL. So if you go to this link, 
you might need to scroll down if it doesn't automatically take you to that section.